we've created the basic shape of our navbar, but now let's add some links to our buttons. So we'll go to the active link component. We want to make an active link, meaning that when we're on the same path as the link that the link references, for example, we're on the sign up page, the sign up link is active and it's given the color red. If we're on the sign in page, if we go there, we can see that it now becomes red. So here in our active link, we're going to first import the higher order component with router from next slash router. And since it's a higher order component, we're going to wrap the active link component that we're exporting with it in order to get access to the router itself within our component. To create the functionality for an active link, we're going to need to know the path name that we're on, and we're going to get that information from the router itself. So within our div, we'll add some anchor tags. We'll start with the href. So the href will be dynamically set. So we'll use a prop called href, which will pass down, and it'll be different for whatever path that we want to set for a given button in our navigation. So we can set the href on the link, but we also want to add an on click so that our page doesn't reload. Set equal to a function called handle click. So we can create the handle click function right here. It's going to accept an event. And in order to prevent the page from reloading, when we load a different URL according to the href, we're going to say event.preventDefault. Then we're going to take the router and call push on it. We're going to push according to the href, push to the route that we want to navigate to. Then we'll style our link using the style prop, where we'll set text decoration to none. We'll remove the margin and padding by setting them to zero. And then we want to set the font weight. And we'll do this conditionally based on the current path. So we'll create a variable called isCurrentPath. If it is the current path, meaning the we're at the same path in our app as the link, we're going to give it a font weight of bold, otherwise normal. So we'll create this isCurrentPath variable. And we're going to get the path from router.pathName and compare it with the href. And the href will either be equal to router.pathName or it'll be equal to the router.aspath. And the aspath on router is if we're renaming a given path using the asprop. So we're setting the current path, or we're determining the, the current path. And then the color is going to be based on the current path as well. So we'll add another ternary where if we're on the current path, the link will be the hex code C62828 or the hex code FFF. And we can also make use of prefetching, the prefetching ability of next router, so that when, for example, we load our home page or any page, we fetch the pages corresponding to the links in the navigation. So if we load the home page, we're going to fetch sign in and sign up since they're in our navbar. So we'll create a function declaration called prefetch pages. We'll first check to see if type of window is not equal to undefined. We don't want to prefetch pages, for example, if we're, in, we're on the server for whatever reason. And then we can just call router.prefetch and pass it the path name that we're currently on with router.pathName. And this feature will really work best in production, but we can wire it up now. And in order to immediately execute prefetch pages, we can write this as an iffy by wrapping the function declaration in parentheses and then immediately calling it with another set of parentheses. And then finally, within our link, we want to render everything that we have as children. So we'll use the children prop and make sure that we bring it in. So all we need to do now is go to our nav bar We'll import, we'll import active link from the same folder. And first we'll wrap our shared outline icon with it. So we'll say active link and we'll give it an href of just the home route. And 
then wrap the text in the typography component and we'll give it the same href just forward slash and then for our profile button we'll give it an href of profile we'll skip the sign out button since we'll connect that to an on click to sign out our user and We'll add active link for sign in to the sign in route and for sign up. So if we save all of our files, we should see when we're on the home route, our logo and our main title are now a red color, kind of a ver vermilion color. If we go to the profile page, we click on that link, our profile link turns red. We also see our profile page underneath. And if we change the value of user ID, you can see our unauth nav. So if we go to sign in, we see our active link works there and for sign up as well.